Yeah, we collaborated uh, for yeah, the last four years uh, and it's been a great adventure. Our lab studies how the brain controls behavior and how the state of the body affects the form and function of the brain networks that control behavior. So this, this, this current study was uh, motivated by um, the observation that it is quite well known that the female body um, undergoes um, quite profound um, preparations for the upcoming behavioral challenges of motherhood. In the lab, we use mice as a model organism. We focused on uh, pregnancy-induced changes through parental behavior, and we observed that maternal behavior actually starts during pregnancy, so females become very maternal towards their pups, even before pups and their offspring um, is born. We know that hormones fluctuate during pregnancy, and specifically and mainly uh, estrogen and progesterone. Um, so we looked into the brain to see where receptors for these hormones are highly enriched. When we made these neurons blind to these hormones, we saw um, an abolishment of the maternal behavior. During late pregnancy, we observed two modifications. First, we observed the silencing of these neurons. Also, what we observed that these neurons receive more excitatory inputs because now the neurons will change uh, their computation by being more selective towards birth, with comparing to non-social stimuli, for example. And by this way, the mother will be focused and more able to provide the proper maternal care that is needed. So humans have the same major hormonal changes, they have the same um, 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 brain areas. One speculation is that these um, responses are also preserved in humans, but it has to be said, of course, that uh, parenting in humans is subject to many more um, influences, um, experience um, and, and, and social um, influences, of, of course. Yeah.